In this tutorial, we take a look at how to use the Digital Skin Texture script on the Beauty Retouch panel to correct areas of the skin that are too soft or lack texture. Sometimes, after you've done a lot of work in a certain area of skin, such as removing crosshairs or baby hairs on the forehead or a large blemish, you may find that the texture of the area looks too soft now in comparison to the surrounding skin. Our Digital Skin Texture script might be a great help to such an issue. So let's look at our specific image here. You can see that this area is looking very soft in comparison to the surrounding skin and the texture doesn't fit in at all. I'm going to run the Digital Skin Texture script and I'm going to get a soft white brush and I'm going to paint in over that area. Now all images are going to look different, the skin texture is going to be different in them and you're going to have to work with the script differently to make it work for your image. If we just zoom out, you can see that when you zoom out, it actually, even just like this, it's a good improvement to that area, but it needs a little bit of work to fit in a little bit more naturally. What I'm going to do is I've got all of these pixels that I don't need in this layer. I've got a whole image here of pixels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the marquee tool and I'm going to make a broad selection or broad square around that texture. And I'm going to press the invert button on the luminosity masking section. You can also just press command shift I, whichever is easier for you. And I'm going to make sure that I'm stepped onto this pixel layer and I'm going to just delete those pixels. So as you can see now, I've only got this square of pixels left and I can deselect that. And now what I want to do is I want to unlink this layer from its mask. And when you unlink a layer from a mask, you can move the layer independently of the mask or the mask independently of the layer. And to do that, all you do is you get this little link icon here and you click on it and that unlinks them. But if you need to relink it, you just re-click and they'll be relinked. But I don't want to do that for now. So I'm just going to unlink them and I'm going to press command T and I'm just going to very carefully just reduce the size of this digital skin texture until it matches with the size of the texture in the surrounding skin. And I'm looking specifically at the size of this texture to this texture. And I think that's looking about right. Let's zoom out and have a look. And I think that's fitting in well, but we still need to adjust it a little bit further. That's because the sharpness of this texture, if you toggle it on and off, is a little bit sharper than the sharpness of the surrounding skin. You can either blur this layer slightly or you can reduce the opacity of the layer, which is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to get the opacity and take it down a little bit and look at how that texture now fits in and look up close and make sure it's fitting in well. And you can see that's making a huge difference and, and really improving that area, which was looking way too soft. So you always want to make sure that what you've done with any sort of retouching step works at various levels of zoom and looks good and fits in with the entire image, which I think this really does. So I'm now going to zoom back in and double check again. And yes, that works.